go. Nice touch from him, and it's put away by Rodrigo. And there was one last chance, and Real Madrid have taken it. Kamavinga played his part a great deal tonight and had their moments. They were very good in the first half, not so good in the second when Ra Till sending it wide. They do have this threat on the counter attack. Cristiano with the ball in. Oh, what a story! Yachi Boev gives Sheriff the lead. The lowest race of the VAR. Darting in between Addo and Fernando. He can put this penalty away. And he can! 1 1. They trail for 40 minutes. The Real Madrid will feel that that's the passport for them getting out of jail. Till. Extraordinary! Some extraordinary stellar performances from the Moldovan champion. Serbian referee leads them out. Shakhtar and Rea. In Liverpool. Oh, what a pass that is for Benzema, and it's sliced in. Kripsov got there, but diverts it beyond his own goalkeeper. Benzema, Kripsov backing off him. He has support, and then Modric floats it through for Vinicius Junior. Real Madrid have their second goal. And it is a thing of beauty. A look at the quick feet there. And Vinicius Junior still oh. going. It's a stunner from Real Madrid. Benzema for Vinicius Junior. And then turned home. Rodrigo Vasquez drifted through for the perfect night, rounded off by Kahim Benzema. Finally, Champions League Group D. Tonight, Madrid face Shakhtar Donetsk, who beat them twice. In Salah looking to get onto this one. Rubin, Macon's lost it. Here's Benzema. Goal number 1,000 in the Champions League for Real Madrid. 1-0 on the night. Be an opportunity for Fernando. This time he scores and Shakhtar Donetsk are level. He missed one big opportunity midway through the first. With a clever touch back to Vinicius. It's Vinicius, it's Benzema and Real Madrid lead once more. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Win in this season's Champions League so far. Carlo Ancelotti back out of Real Madrid after delivering a tenth Champions League. The depth. Crows and Alaba, the two having a look at this, and it's been deflected in. David Alaba will take the plaudits. 
Athanasiadis beaten. But... Rodrigo. Back with Rodrigo. Oh, that's brilliantly finished. They're claiming the goal. And Real Madrid get the goal. Close. Mendy. Benzema. Brilliantly finished by Karim Benzema. Be the decisive game in Group D. Stage game, does it? Does. It's a big test of what these clubs have got. It's Kroos who can hit them and how he can hit them into the corner. Real Madrid has the lead. Tony Kroos strikes with a left foot sizzler. Oh, incredible. Asensio. Oh, brilliant. What a wonderful strike. That sweet, sweet left foot. And that was like precision surgery. With the Italian referee Daniele Orsato leading them out and the noise inside the Parc de France. You saw Kylian Mbappe down there. Mbappe. Great feet by Mbappe! Oh, what a goal! What a sensational goal! Well, he might be a Galactico next season, but he's the toast of Paris tonight. Brilliant feet! What a finish! Kylian Mbappe, Paris Saint-Germain won. Real Madrid nil. Paris Saint-Germain have the lead. They'll take it to the Bernabeu for the second leg on the 9th of March. International. So here come the players, there's the ball, it's a massive night for both of them. It's a game where some of the world's best will try and sprinkle some magic. Neymar sweeps it on because they know that Mbappe's on the run and Alaba's trying to make up ground. Kylian Mbappe for Paris Saint-Germain! He scored this time! Well, he might be heading here for next season, but tonight he might be the man who knocks Real Madrid out of the champion. Pressure on Donnarumma. Benzema caused it, here's Vinicius. It's Kerry Benzema on the back in it! Luka Modric once more. Good ball into Karim Benzema. It's in. Karim Benzema strikes again. Real Madrid are back. What a game in the Santiago Bernabeu. And the Paris Saint Germain lead is gone. Karim Benzema. And the replays. And they're on the move again. Marquinhos with more defending tonight. Oh, Thought he 
got PSG through when he scored for the second time in the tie. But they capitulated in the second half. They made mistake after mistake. And they were punished by the French international striker, who was in the absolute supreme best tonight. Karim Benzema is the man who... ...defeat here against Brentford is hugely significant. And we wonder tonight if they face the swashbuckling Real Madrid team that stormed back against PSG, or the one that meekly surrendered recently against Barcelona. It's the holders against the 13 times European champions at Stamford Bridge. It's Chelsea versus Real Madrid. It's Chelsea, present and past in the technical areas with Thomas Tuchel and Carlo Anderson lively down the left-hand side so far, he's got a run on them again here. Flips it back, Benzema's head, oh, what a goal! That's an absolutely sensational header from Karim Benzema, who's one of the best finishers in Europe. 35 goals now this season, he's never scored more in and around the edge of the box waiting to see it develop and then he eventually gets in the box swung it by Modric he's there again oh he's guiding another one in Karim Benzema is unstoppable the first one was all about the power the Reese James free kick Jorginho that's a good ball in it's a chance it's a goal it's Kai Havertz! And a player has now got a knack of scoring big goals when Chelsea needs them. Gets one tonight. And it reduced. Now Chelsea. Ooh. It's a bit sloppy there from Mendy. Oh, no. And here's the chance. And there's the hat trick. Karim Benzema. Only the fourth player to score successive hat-tricks in successive Champions League matches. Seven now this season, Benzema. Chelsea's goal tonight was scored by Kai Havertz. It gave them life before half-time. The greatest ever nights in Europe. And as the holders, they have the class and belief to do it. And I must say, it feels special in here tonight. The two managers down there, Carlo Ancelotti and Chelsea's Thomas Tuchel. Loftus cheek. There's a chance for Mount to run through. It's a chance! And it's exactly what they needed. Mason Mount, who scored against Real Madrid last season, scored in the Champions League against them again. And it's exactly the start. Collection there from Modric. More pressure on Courtois. Mason Mount again from the Chelsea. Right, there's the header, it's in! And Chelsea are all the way back, and it's Antonio Rudiger. His first ever goal in European football. What a night and what a play. It's a good ball by Kovacic. They've opened up Real Madrid. Timo Werner, nice and patient. Still Timo Werner, it's in! Timo Werner with a gigantic goal for Chelsea. And this one certainly does count. And for the first time... David Alaba's header. Here's Modric. Benzema's got support. Rodrigo! The ball as well for Modric. Ball to that now. Here's Vinicius. Benzema and Rodrigo in the middle. There's the chance. Oh, he was bound to score. He had to score. And when they needed it most, Harry Benzema does score. His 38th goal of the season. And you know, it's over. Chelsea are out. And the Real Madrid celebrations begin in the Bernabeu after an absolute classic. There are players down on the pitch.
all over the place. They've given everything, both sets of players, both squads. The team at the top in England is ready for the team at the top in Spain. The Champions League is set to serve up another potential classic. In the last 12 years, Mares on the move for the first time with a delicious ball in and what a goal! What a sensational start! It's Kevin De Bruyne! It's a quite outstanding ball in from Riyad Mares, and De Bruyne has been playing so well recently and scoring so many big goals. Gets another one, and Manchester City strike. Kevin De Bruyne. Missed by Tony Cross. Here's a chance for two. It is two. And Gabriel Jesus gets himself another goal. The Brazilian can't stop scoring. It's a dream start to the semi final for Manchester City. They lead 2 0. Go by Zinchenko. Mares with a challenge on Modric. Here's Mendy. In towards Benzema. Gets one back. And Madrid's master marksman needs only half a chance. And Manchester City's lead is halved in the semi-final. Benzema's arrived. Not Manchester City, but what the Real do differently second half. We'll get back to that in a second. Here's Fernandinho. Lifted in. Good chance. 3-1. Phil Foden. And Manchester City turns to one of their own to score a vital goal in the Champions League semi-final. Turn on that side by Vinicius Junior, who can run away from the Manchester City defence. He's in here for Real Madrid, and he scores! Quick at the flash, they're back in it. It's 3-2. And it's a bit of Brazilian magic to get Real Madrid back in the tie. Vinicius Junior, with his 18th goal. Zinchenko. It's played, oh, and it's in! Oh, what a goal! What a strike from Bernardo Silva! And Real Madrid reduce the deficit again. Oh, what about that? He's pelinking him. He's the coolest man in European football. Ice in his veins, it's colder than that. Benzema just Penenkin Edison in a Champions League semi-final. Well, Pep's Manchester City played that way. What a game. Kevin De Bruyne with the fastest goal ever in a Champions League semi-final. Tonight they stride out like gladiators into an arena perfect for the game. Two teams who went toe-to-toe -to -toe for 90 pulsating minutes in Manchester. Space now for Bernardo Silva. Jesus making the run through the middle, opens up a bit of space, and coming in now is Riyad Mahrez! <laughs> semi final hero last season might just be the semi final hero again. What a fantastic finish into the top corner from Riyad Mahrez. Searching for Benzema who hooks it in, the goal on back. It's Rodrigo. There is life in Real Madrid. There's hardly any time remaining. Benzema, Sai puts the ball in. The king of Madrid fires Real. Look, he's 
shoulder. It's heartbreak for Manchester City. And there's a warm embrace down there between two men who have gone toe-to-toe for 180 minutes or more. Carlo Ancelotti and Pep Guardiola. from Real Madrid, well Verdi then drives it in, and they go ahead, Vinicius Junior! The stand defense, he runs with white delight! And so they won't, full time whistle. Real Madrid are the European champions for the 14th time and Liverpool's treble dreams have ended here in Paris. But the team that's defied the odds so many times to get here tonight has found the magic once again in the Champions League. They were written off against Paris Saint-Germain on the way out against Chelsea and seemingly dead and buried against Manchester City. For the team that has this love affair with this competition that's lasted for 67 years has gone and won it again. And it's... It's 14 and counting for Real Madrid.